Positive sensory stimulation for babies and toddlers strengthens nerve connections in the brain, so sensory play is essential for children's brain development. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Hazy. I'm a working mom of a two-year-old toddler named Alina. In today's video, I'm sharing 10 sensory materials that you can use to set up sensory play for your little one, as well as 5 sensory slash messy play ideas that you can do at home. Everything that I'm showing you today can be done on a larger scale or on a smaller scale as well. So if you've got a small tray or if you've got a tough tray just like us or something even bigger, sensory play can be done with whatever tray you have in your home. So without further ado, let's get started. Oob-like activities are such a fun way to engage in sensory play. It behaves like a solid, but if you leave it alone in the palm of your hand, it'll start slowly running and dripping like liquid. Since it's just potato or cornstarch and water, it's really easy and inexpensive to set up, and it's taste safe and non-toxic, so it makes a great sensory play material for babies and toddlers. Crack off the very top of an egg leaving a small hole, fill the clean eggshells with any nature items such as flowers and leaves and add water and freeze it in the egg carton. Alternatively, you can put small animal figurines depending on the theme of your play tray and let your child peel off the eggshells and watch ice melting. It makes awesome science activity as well as cool sensory activity. With Oobleg and Ice Axe, I'm going to make an Ice Age Dino themed play tray. I bought this snow powder from Korea. They look like snow but it doesn't feel like snow at all. If you want to make some fake snow at home, get a cup of baking soda and add some water. Add some chia seeds and water to the bowl and give it a good stir, then refrigerate it overnight to soak. After soaking, you should have a sticky and gelatinous mixture. You can add some cornstarch to make a chia slime. When it has more cornstarch, it becomes slower moving, less messy and easier to pick up all in one clump. Water beads are made from a water absorbing material that expands when placed in water. They were originally created to help hydrate plants, but they make an awesome tactile and sensory tool for children. Water beads are Alina's favorite sensory play material as they are squishy, bouncy, soft, and you can even pop it and crush it, but unfortunately, they are not taste safe. Tapioca pearls are a great taste safe alternative to water beads. They are small chewy balls made from tapioca starch and they are used for bubble tea. It has quite similar texture to water beads so it makes great sensory play material for children. I used white tapioca pearls for Alina because white ones have a plain flavor whereas black ones typically have some sweetness. Now I'm going to show you guys how I made a frog and box swamp the other day using chia slime, water beads and tapioca pearls.
paid safe fizzy mud can be used in a mud kitchen, you can use it in a construction vehicle site or a farm sensory bin for piggies to sit in. Watch the reactions and chat with your child about what they see. You need some cocoa powder, potato starch or corn starch, bicarb soda, citric acid and oil. You can spread it on a tray or in a bowl and add drops of water to see it freeze. Rice is inexpensive, easy to clean up, and super versatile. Rice play encourages toddlers to work on their fine motor skills, hand and eye coordination, and their pincer grip. I have a video all about rice play ideas for toddlers and how to make colored rice. I'll link it down below in the description box for you to check out. Otherwise, you can always use various beans and peas instead, such as chickpeas, green peas, yellow peas, red beans, and black beans, and etc. Now, let me show you guys how I made our farm sensory bin.엄마가 만든 플레이도 먹는데? 어? 뭐지? 저 먹으면 안 되는데? 어? 밀가루 먹으면 안 되는데 저거? 저 밀가루 먹으면 안 되는데? 응. 쟤왜 저래? 왜 갔어? 왜 갔어? 얘가 우리 집에 맨날 오는 거 같아. 쌀 먹으러 온 거야? 쌀 먹으러 온 거야? 쟤왜 저래? 그니까. 응? 쌀 먹으러 온 거야? 뭐? 뭐? 어디? 공장하러 온 거야? 어? 어디 갔어? 어디 갔어? 갔어. 갔어? 또 많이. 진흙. 진흙. 진흙이야. Dried seaweeds make really good sensory material for babies and toddlers. When you soak it in water, they expand and become really soft and kind of like slippery. These are not one of those sushi sheets. It's dried seaweed for making soup, aka Korean birthday soup. We used them a lot when Alina was like 6 months old and she still has a lot of fun with them. Whether it's cooked or not, colored pasta will help young children to develop their fine motor skills, creativity and imagination as they find different ways to play with them. You can dye pasta using the same method how you would dye rice. Now I'm gonna make an ocean themed small world using dried seaweed and colored pasta.
chickpea form activity is so versatile, easy and cheap to make. It's completely safe to taste, making it perfect for babies as well. All you need is canned chickpeas and cream of tartar. And you just need to use a hand mixer or stand mixer to whip the liquid into form. The last sensory tray I'm going to make is an ice cream play. So this is it. I really hope this video gives you some inspiration. We got our top trays from Gumtree Kit. These guys sell their top trays in Australia and also in America. So if anyone who's interested in purchasing these top trays, I'll link their Instagram account down below. Just slide into DMs and have a chat with them. If you have any questions about Sensory Play setup or if you have any other interesting Sensory Play materials that I haven't mentioned, Feel free to leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.